Last time on Monarch. Whoa, what's going on here? What? Greetings, subjects! I am your king! You wouldn't happen to be the vice president of the true student council. Yes, how do you know that? Whoever keeps staring is the submissive one. I don't know if that's how that works! You the vice president of the true student council? How does everyone know that? Ah! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Naturally, I've been training to use my magic gear. Huh. You're ruthless. An ogre. A monster. Why? What did I do? Listen, this kid could kick my ass. That is impressive. Greetings, my beautiful viewers! I am the Hunter of Comedy, and welcome back to Monarch! Again, starting at the menu screen because we, um, we don't want them to have a conversation and interrupt my intro, so now I can tell you, last time, we, uh, we uh, found uh, a new pact uh, bearer, uh, who we think is Akane, it may be her twin sister, or it may be both of them. I am not 100% certain yet. And we got, you know, the, like, you know, the badass middle schooler Shinya, who could probably kick my ass really easily. So, yes, we, uh, got the, like, the first area of, uh, the school done. <laughs> not so fast, you. I'd like to have a word or two. Okay. Human desires become the most clear when dealing with somebody whom they hold dear. <laughs> Today I'll reveal the desires at your roots by questioning you on romantic pursuits. I don't know if that's a good idea. Question one. Say you are smitten with someone you know. How would you go about telling them so? I would get to know them first. That is personally what I would do. Question two. They say that for now, dating's out of the question. How do you handle your rejected confession? I can't give up his face. Go and do a catatonic. I mean, give up. Why bother? I mean, like, if they're not interested in me, they're not interested in me, you know? Question three. You eventually find a prospective soulmate. Where should they sit during your dinner date? Uh, I don't know. I would let them decide, because they could tell me where they are the most comfy. Question four. Your partner has finished their meal before you, but you are still hungry. Now what do you do? Um... If I was still hungry, I would order more, because if... Like, you know, if I was still hungry and they really cared about me, then obviously... They would, you know, like, be fine with me having a little more, unless we were in a hurry or something. But, I mean, like, I'm guessing we're in a situation where that's not the case. Question five. You and your partner's beliefs don't align. Are you upset? Or is everything fine? That's fine. I like expanding my, uh, my worldview. I say that because, um... It depends on, like, the beliefs. Because... Um, I, I know a lot of couples where, like, a lot of the things that, like, you know, they believe, like, you know, like, don't always match up, but they, uh, like, at their core, like, the core person of who they are is, like, you know, good for each other and everything. You don't always have to have the exact same beliefs, as long as there are things that, like, for example, if both of you agree on certain things, then it's fine. Question six. What would you do if you heard a rumor stating that your partner's parents were against you dating? Uh, I wouldn't worry too much. It's, it's just a rumor. And I mean, like, until I had proof, then I wouldn't worry about it, you know? Question seven. While out at a theme park on a fun little jaunt, your partner points out the ride that they want. It drops down a hundred meters or so, but heights petrify you. Do you still go? 
I mean, personally, I fucking love roller coasters, so I wouldn't have a problem with it. But there are definitely some rides I'm not okay with. I think it's fine to say, like, the, like you know, like, you know, I'll take a rain check. I don't want to do that one and everything, you know? Question A. When you return from finding a bench for the show, your partner is chatting up someone you don't know. Whoever they are, they look much better than you. What do you think is going on between these two? Their exes? Uh, I, uh, they could just be people that they just met. I'll go with the childhood friends thing, though. Question nine. Your hunch is correct. Their reunion is sweet. How would you feel if they made plans to meet? That's fine. I believe in my partner. Question ten. The clock strikes nine. The moon is bright. You take your partner home for the night. They linger and stare in expectation. What would you do in this situation? I mean, if it's the right mood and everything, I would give them a kiss. But like, you know, like, like uh, the setting this up as though, like, you know, like they're staring at us like lovingly and everything. So, yeah. Question 11. You and your partner are in a rough patch. Each argument ends with a shouting match. The stress has been making it hard to sleep. What do you do now that you're in this deep? Uh, eat healthy and exercise? Yeah. Question 12. Your partner eventually spurns all your texts. What do you think caused these adverse effects? It's probably because I'm a perv. Can't think of anything. Uh, they're sick of me. I mean, like, it depends. I mean, like... I am not a perv, as far as I know. Um, and <laughs> evidence in the past may come back to haunt me now, but that's fine. I can't think of anything. They're sick of me. I can't think of anything. Because, like, if if they're not responding, I mean, there could be a number of things. Question 13. When you visit your partner, their parents rule that their child must study and find a good school. What would you do if they told you straight that it'd be for the best if you two separate? Um, I would yell at them for projecting on their child. I mean, like, I wouldn't yell at them. I would calmly discuss it. Um, like, you know, you can't tell your child what to do. It's their choice. Question 14. Your partner insists that your love's no mistake, but still wants to split for their parents' sake. You hear your partner in tears through the phone. How do you handle this plight you've been thrown? Tell them to follow their heart. Do what they believe is right, and I would accept it. These questions were meant to be geared toward lust. Could it be carnal pleasures fill you with disgust? I mean, maybe. Perhaps your desire for sloth went too far. No judgment, of course. You are who you are. Mm -hmm. But indulge your desires and life gets more fun. Be true to your ego, as you've already done. Yeah. Okay, that was actually cool. I enjoyed that. All right, we got to go back to the club building, but first we're going to gonna get the madness fixed. There we go, okay. Oh, shoot, that's right. Um, I almost forgot, like, um, last episode ran a little long um, in the recording, so I, I didn't know if I could do this. So, I forgot. I wanted to check out what that uh, memo was, that uh, crystal something, uh, crystal ground. Crystal ground. I wonder what this is. I I genuinely wonder. Oh, so I'm sorry, Shinya, but I gotta have no Zomi right now. Let's go, Nozomi. I'll be here straight. Here I go. Oh, so there is a way to just um do this like minutely. Okay. Annihilate. 
that's cool. I figured that out. That's good. Yeah, some of these guys were at a pretty high level, I gotta say. No mercy. I really need to get uh, higher up uh, level. Wow, this guy's at level 15? Devour them. Shit. Sorry. Get ready. Well, now I'm just angry. There we go. We made it, Nozomi. Good job. You were amazing. Deaths minus 400. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Oh, wow. I got some really good spirit there. Oh, boy. Cool. Yeah, wow. Like, you know, crystal ground was even better than fertile ground. What do you do on your days? Oh, okay. I train with Yugo usually. Oh! Like in martial arts? Yeah. What kind? It's supposed to be based off a mixed martial art called Savat. But he said it also includes military style close quarters combat. Oh, damn. Military style? Where did Mr. Yugo learn that? The military? I don't know. He only teaches me stuff he's learned firsthand, though. Mr. Yugo was enough of a mystery already. I mean, what kind of a title is steward? The plot thickens. Yeah, I have an idea. I think that maybe, uh, remember how last time we found that memo? Yeah, the, the Cromwell notes. I'm wondering if I ended up drawn to her heart and soul, like... I wonder if the person who infiltrated the academy and everything was Yugo, and that he um, was like approached by someone else, but he fell in love with her, and that's why he is um, helping um, the students. Uh, sorry, like the, the the dean and everything. Oh wow! Oh, that's very phallic, isn't it? Uh, jealous Fornius helm, but I mean, like, wow, that was that's like fifty-seven. Holy shit, that's nice. Names. A nickname Jealous has been bestowed. You've donned a full set of vessels with skills, I see. Huh. Names and nature do often agree. Oh, okay. Jealous Virgil! <laughs> okay. I didn't know that's what that would do. Cool. Wow, Virgil's looking pretty badass. Arena is similar, but not quite the same. I still love it. I have to walk all the way back to the uh, the building. For some reason, I can't fast travel right now. I don't know why. Maybe once I get out? No. Yeah, I can't fast travel right now, and I'm not 100% sure why. Oh, there's an ideal thing back here. Okay. Wonder what it is, but there's also another note. Is this importante? Pack bearers registered in the library. Didn't I already have that one, I thought? No, but I guess I didn't. Oh well. I need 300 greed. I do not have 300 in greed. Memorial Garden. Oh, I can't go there yet either. Okay. Oh, hello, sir. Can you believe this? I mean... People are bursting into flames for crying out loud. Now I know what burning flesh smells like. Live and learn. I love you. That I don't know if that's a thing I want to live and learn. I don't know if that's a thing I want to do. Whoa! What the fuck? What's going on? Get out of the way, Mister Hugo. You are Miss Takagi, correct? I am afraid I cannot do that. I just want to talk to Haruka. With a knife in your hand? You'll have to discard what's in your hand first. But, but I can't. This is the only way I can get his attention. He won't even talk to me anymore. 
things have been so crazy. There's no telling what's going to happen. I can't just die without any closure. I want to hear it from you, Haruka. It's the least you could do. <sighs> you said you loved me. Was it all a lie? You said you weren't good with girls, but that I was different. You gave me a promise ring. You said we'd be together forever. Wow. I, I'm starting to not like this guy. He seems to go through women as quickly as Sumire does. We made plans for Christmas next year. We even talked about what kind of family we wanted. If you weren't lying, then... Did you stop loving me? Was I just not good enough for you anymore? I can change! You should never change for someone else. It's wrong. Or... Are you just testing my feelings for you? I am very concerned. Like, whether I really love you or not. Did you think I was going to leave you first? I just don't get it. You broke up with me out of nowhere and cut me off completely. Talk to me. Say something. I don't get it. I don't understand why you do this to me. What did I have to do to make you stay? <laughs> We just didn't click. That's all. See, love is like two halves of a shell. If the feelings don't line up, it won't close right. You were just too into me. Too... wholesome for my tastes. You are a dickbag. There are much better ways. Like, you don't... Mmm. Mmm. God damn. You don't... You don't tell someone you love them. Like, that's the thing. Ugh. <sighs> Too many people are like, I love you. And it's like, no, you need to get to know people first. I just couldn't do it anymore. I, I'm not all that wholesome, really. And if you want me to back off, I will. So can we get back together? No, you're threatening me with a knife. No. Sorry, but no. Shells don't change. If things don't click the first time, they never will. I mean, first impressions are a lot, but they're not literally absolutely everything. Try to force it, and the pearl inside will get crushed into grit. And no one wants that. What is with you in this shell, like, you know, analogy? What? B but? That's why I broke up with you. You'd only get hurt if we stayed together, so I spared you the pain. Something seems like it's going on here. It's weird. That won't happen. I'll make sure of it. Can't we go back to being friends at least? Ugh, this is exactly why I don't talk to my exes. You have... God damn. Huh? Get a clue, will you? Do you have any idea how uncomfortable this is? If you love me, why would you go out of your way to creep me out like this? I... I can't just give up on you. I love you. You're obsessed with me, more like. You're just scared of getting dumped. He's not wrong, but at the same time, there are much better ways to put it than the way he is doing it. The only one you love here is yourself. That's not necessarily true, but at the same time, I see where he would come to that conclusion. get it now I was so stupid falling for a guy like you no 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 oh my god she ran away with a knife no we should stop her <sighs> thanks for having my back mr. Hugo I'm sorry you had to see that it's quite all right I doubt she intended to hurt you Perhaps nothing would have changed had I not been here. Even so, I am not the one you should be apologizing to. Guess that came out of nowhere for you guys, huh? Yeah, kinda! Prick was putting it gently! I am gonna agree with that! 
<laughs> Don't you start now, too. Oh, no, I am starting all the shit. You're an asshole. I, I don't... Like, here's the thing. Dating multiple people in your life is not at all a bad thing, but people who go through, you like, you know, like, you know, romantic partners and everything so quickly are just, I'm sorry, they're just scum. They're not looking for love, they're looking for attention. It's very different. It happens a lot, but yeah, I'm going through the same thing with Akane right now. But hey... I guess anyone would act that way after getting dumped like last week's trash. Yeah, yeah, Brick was putting it mildly. You are a son of a bitch. Then why do it if you already know? Why? <sighs> because it's what the first person I went out with did to me. Okay. So what you're saying is... Because you had a bad experience, now you have to make everyone else's experiences horrible. That's the definition of being a prick! Gave me the cold shoulder. Never contacted me again. It made me want to do it to someone else. Still does. You're a dickbag! But as for why I'm like this... Hell if I know, man. Shit happens. You need therapy! Dear God! How could you not know? That doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't. At the same time, I mean, like, you know, I, I, you know, like, there are definitely times when it's like, I don't know why I'm this way. It's just like, no, 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 you, you clearly understand why. It's because you were dumped once, and now you want to just get with and dump other people because you felt bad once. You're a dick bag. The way I see it, it sounds like you're just a scumbag. Yeah. <sighs> There's something wrong with Akane. That much is for sure. But if you're the reason she's like this, then your baseball club friends must be rolling in their graves. Are you saying it's my fault they're dead? Yes! Quite possibly! Try asking yourself. Even scumbags like you can feel some guilt, right? Mmm. -hmm. I'm gonna go with no. <laughs> You're the vice president of the TSC, correct? We've already met before, shouldn't you know that? I see you're helping Shinya out. He can be a bit distant, but I assure you he's a good lad at heart. I do hope you'll get along. The mist in Block B has dissipated, so I'll be checking over the facility. Shinya, I understand Sora has entrusted you with a task. Don't do anything to endanger yourself, all right? All right. The two of us are worried about you, you know. Thanks. Oh. He wants to live up to his parents' expectations. And not like they have, like... I mean, like, uh, yeah, obviously he's gonna take over the school. That's the point. Let's continue our investigation. Yeah. I feel like he's putting more expectations on himself than they're putting on him. Because they're definitely putting some, like, expectations on him. But they obviously are shown they still really care about him. Yet... You know? We can enter Block C from Block B. There should be a ton of mist there. Got it. Oh, boy. Once the baseball club is ashes and dust, will we be... Uh, will it be the cricket... Uh, the cricket club's turn on the pyre next? Baseball is tr is derived from cricket, so moving down the pike. Oh, drat. That got me mouth of mine. Yeah, probably not the best thing to say there. Cricket is cricket and baseball is baseball. They invented two different words for them for a reason. Don't get me wrong. What the baseball club's going through sucks big time, but it's got daily squat to do with any of us. 
Well, I mean, yes and no. Sumire is such a snake, I swear. She closes up to a guy, and before you know it, she's got him wrapped around her finger. Yeah. Not surprised there. Haruka's always had crap luck with girls, even all the way back in middle school. His first girlfriend was older than him. She was already in a committed relationship, but confessed to him anyway. After she had her fun, she dumped him. Her real boyfriend beat the snot out of him when he tried to get her back. Oh, Jesus. I mean, there's still no reason to be a dick the way he's been, though. Doesn't anybody here have any tact? Or trapped in some sort of supernatural slasher flick? And all anyone talks about is, is some he said, she said nonsense. Haruka's relationship with Sumire is actually lasting pretty long, as far as his track record goes. Wonder if he's actually serious about her. It's the first time for everything. Yeah, that makes me concerned. I don't have 250 pride. Damn it. Press the club, we're all burned alive. Does that mean I'm next? Maybe. You know what they say, what goes around comes around. See, I've heard that Haruka never rejects a single person who confesses to him. One of my friends dated him for a hot second, but he broke it off out of nowhere and started ghosting her. He's so charming otherwise, I can only imagine how it uh, feel for him to crumple up and toss you in the trash. A guy like that's bound to leave a trail of angry exes in his wake. Definitely, yeah. Whoa, you are tall! Kinda used to be the nicest, sunniest girl around. She had this air about her, like a fairy tale princess. But these days, it's like I don't even recognize her. Huh. Haruka. Haruka's so sweet. Haruka's so handsome. He's like a prince, a knight in shining armor. That's the kind of crap the girls in my class always say. Me? I couldn't care less about dating drama. If someone would swoop in and save me already, we're doomed to die in this godforsaken academy. Do not worry! Your king is here to protect you! Hmm... Shinya, Vice President, I want to apologize for Haruka. I know he's been a pain. Did he tell you about what happened? Yep. He's such a loser, isn't he? What? Where do all his groupies even come from? I just don't get what they see in him. Aren't you dating him right now? He wouldn't be in so much trouble if he picked his girls better. Or let them down easier, at least. Yeah, at least. <sighs> Doesn't that upset you? Upset me? Eh, I guess. I can't stand guys like him. He deserves way more trouble than he's getting. You've heard Haruka go on about his shells fitting together or whatever. Right? It's so weird. He probably picked it up from some girl. To me, love is more like buttoning clothes. Two halves of a shell will never fit together unless they're a perfect match. But the wrong button can still keep clothing together, even if it does get all wrinkled. After all, you can fall in love with just about anyone as long as you ignore their flaws. People who settle, loveless marriages, friends with benefits, it's all proof. I don't necessarily know about that. Um, I mean like, like loveless marriages certainly, but I mean like, friends with benefits? I mean like, there's nothing wrong with friends with benefits if, if, like, Again, like, I know the Japanese, uh, the, that uh, the Japanese are a different society than the U.S., but I mean, like, you know, in my opinion, if 
if two people just want to have sex with each other, but not pursue, like, a relationship beyond that, like, you know, that's fine as long as they both understand that that's what it is. And if they want to pursue something more later, that's fine. Or if one of them want to wants to break it off, yeah. No, I mean, like, it, it, it comes down to people, you know? Of course, if one button is mismatched, the rest of the fabric starts to get misaligned, too. So even if two people are meant to be, the rest of the mismatched buttons will keep them apart. The fabric rumples further and further, and the wrinkles get worse and worse. The world is full of flawed love, wrinkles, loose threads and such. Haruka and I are one of those couples, a bundle of loose threads waiting to be pulled. And if they are, that's fine with me. He tries to cover up the scars of his past relationships. I try to cover up my unconventional feelings. Both of us are only using each other to smooth out the wrinkles as best we can. <laughs> Just kidding. No, I don't think so. I don't get this romance stuff at all. Yeah. But who's to say if what's conventional is always good? And what's unconventional is always bad. There you go, Shinya! Unconventional doesn't mean unacceptable. It doesn't mean you aren't allowed to be happy. Huh? Mismatched buttons apply to more than just romance, you know. My family's not a traditional one, but they saved me all the same. Sometimes it's the unconventional that can bring you more happiness. Exactly. God, I love this kid! I'm happy that, like, I found them by accident. And like now, like you know, we're in this storyline. Using the wrong button isn't necessarily bad. Using the right button isn't necessarily good. Whatever your unconventional feelings are, I'm sure there's no reason to hate yourself for them. <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to talk for so long. Oh, this kid's really smart for his age. I like him. No, I should thank you. You're right. Even if they're unconventional, it doesn't mean I'm not allowed to be happy. But forget about that. Let's be honest here. My relationship with Haruka was never that great. By the way, Shinya... Oh no! Huh? You're pretty cute, you know? Especially when you blush. Please don't. <laughs> Already moving on to her next, you know, uh, I, I don't want to say victim, because that's not really what it is, but I can't understand why all these poor kids are trying so hard to recruit me. Oh, oh, it's because I'm tall or something? Yes. You're tall and you look very athletic. Oh, no, it's her. Okay, at least I know she's okay, then. Why, Haruka? Why would you do this to me? Because he's a jackass. Went to the same Ellie elementary school as the Tono sisters. They don't get along now, but it wasn't always like that. In fact, they were always together, like to the point where it kind of stood out. Wonder what happened between them. Good question. I'm glad I made it out of the mist alive, but my body feels kind of sore for some reason. Ha! Ah, ha! Ah, yes, I wonder why that happened. I'm glad I got the. I'm glad I got out of the mist safely and all, but <sighs> feels like Satome was still creeping on me. He doesn't get that I hate the way he chases after me, no matter how many times I tell him. Maybe the problem is that I'm too nice about it. I give up. I'm just gonna ask my teachers and friends for help. Well, sometimes it's what you have to do, you know? Sometimes it's what you have to do. Yeah, the 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 the, the pie memo. Hmm. We can still use this to log in, so I wonder if it'll still be useful. Well that's outside, okay. Alrighty. What do we got next? What's next on the list? Why won't you let me through? Um, maybe because you might be evil? 
I'm simply suggesting you visit the infirmary. You don't seem well. I don't, huh? Maybe it's because your son was playing too rough with me. Perhaps I could complete your errand in your place. Though perhaps not as swiftly. Oh? My! Always the gentleman, aren't you? But this isn't the kind of errand you can run. Akane! And here comes Shinya now! Oh, whatever shall I do? I was hoping to go cool down Haruka. But someone is blocking my way. Wait. Fine by me, though. The more obstacles I overcome, the more romantic all of it is. I don't quite understand what you're getting at. But whatever it is, I get the feeling you're up to no good. You've got it all wrong. Be a dear and let me pass. Now we can each go about our business. Is that right? Don't. If we let her do what she wants, we're going to regret it. Hmm. If that's what Shinya thinks, then I simply must believe him. Hmm. <laughs> Hanging up on a fragile little girl? Three against one, even? You truly are despicable. You can light people on fire. That is not a thing I can do. Look who's talking. Oh. Are you looking for a fight? You don't know when to give up. I don't mind. But didn't you learn anything from last time? Well, I guess we'll just have to find out. <gasps> oh, that's smart. Oh! I did it this time! I am the king! Are you okay, Yugo? Yes, I am fine. Thanks to him. It is the king's duty to protect his subjects. I think I might have third degree burns. I am in pain. Thanks, Vice President. You're welcome. It would seem Miss Tono has fled. For her to set off an explosion with nothing but a gesture. I never imagined such a weapon could exist. Modern technology truly is remarkable. I underestimated her. I'm afraid these old bones of mine just aren't what they were. Hmm. I imagine your pursuit of her is related to Sora's request. A shame she got away. Yeah. That is quite the dangerous weapon she has. If left unchecked, she could cause untold destruction. Shinya, Vice President, do take care. No need to worry about me. You must get going. I know. I know that you're fine. I'm the one with the third degree burns here. Thanks, so I appreciate your concern. Okay. Oh, we got Akane's profile, huh? Member of the Go Home Club. Elder of the set of second year twin sisters. Her winsome looks and warm personality Led to her being named the White Swan of Shin Mikado. She has a pure, innocent air about her and can be a bit absent-minded. Often getting lost in her nigh uh, delusional fantasies about love and life. Long, long ago, she managed to get her long-awaited first boyfriend. Hmm. I see. So she wears white while the other girl, well, uh, her sister wears black. All right. Well, uh, here we go, I guess. Vice President. 
Or, um... Oh! He used my first name! I want to thank you for what you did back there. You're very welcome! If you hadn't been there, there's no telling what might have happened. I've been beating myself up about it. Eh, it's fine! Like I said, third degree burns are nothing for the king. The king is used to getting all kinds of sick burns from his subjects. Hey! It's just like I thought. I've got a long way to go. I don't know, I mean, you saved me before, you did pretty good. Sora and Yugo are so good to me, but I honestly don't deserve it. I mean, I don't agree with that. No, you do deserve it! Thanks, but that's not true. I'm still not good enough. I need to live up to their expectations. I have to earn my keep. I mean, I'm sure that you know, that they want you to inherit, like, you know, everything, but at the same time, it seems like they're more concerned about, you know, you being happy. I'd feel bad otherwise. But if I can be useful to them, that would give even a lost cause like me a purpose. I have to work harder. I have to do better. <sighs> Sorry. This isn't the time to be complaining. Well... It seems this place, too, is linked to the depths. It always is. This number connects to the singularity. Where's my thanks for all my charity? Thanks, bro. We going into the principality of Blust. Blust. God, I can't even word right. Let's go, Shinya. I can't let them down. Here I go. Yeah, this isn't gonna take very long. You're open. We're done! <laughs> Why? Like that, Shinya. We both have a long way to go. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> oh no. Are you crying? Well, the, what else would that noise be? <laughs> I should have never been born. There's no reason to live when no one loves you. <laughs> God damn, they're really hitting us in the feels right now, aren't they? Wouldn't you agree? Yup, a hundred percent. No. You don't need love to live. <laughs> What's the point in a life without love? Why even go on if nobody loves me? <laughs> well, she must be fun at parties. Could you deal with, um, cheer her up so she can get out of our way, I mean? <laughs> what do you want me to do? Um, I did, there is, there is nothing here. Oh wait, there was something. Ah, uh, someone's Momo. I recommend Akane 100%. He's a complete pushover as long as you're okay with sloppy seconds. What? What? Wh what? What's going on here? Um. Okay. Are you crying? That's not true. Really? Is it even possible for someone to love me? Can I really find a reason to live? Yes. God, what am I supposed to do? Are you crazy? <laughs> yep, a hundred percent.
What are you, a demon? Huh? That was like watching someone rub salt in a wound. She's crying in the middle of the hall. Cheer. I'm trying, bro! Nothing is working! Things will be fine. Thank you for saying so. Why is that one accepted? Your words of comfort give me the strength to go on. I said other words of comfort, and then why did that not work? <laughs> I have a stalker now. I did not plan for this, nor am I okay with it. I'll do my best. Step one is to make myself worthy of your love. Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> Looks like you have an admirer. Congratulations. It's called a stalker, and it is not something to be proud of. Two hundred and fifty of lust. I do not have that. Okay. Hey there, sir. Hey, you're not gonna talk to me. Okay. Why not? What, I, I don't get why. <laughs> huh. By your side. Watching over you. I am concerned. The more you know me, the more you'll love me. That is not how that works. This can't be real. It's impossible. My eyes must be playing tricks on me. There's no way she'd be here of all places. Kotaro Nabari. Huh. What is going on? They were talking about Akane as though she sleeps around, but... That doesn't go with, like, you know, the quote-unquote image of her that, like, you know, is, like, in all the, like, school things. You to stop following me. Um, okay. I wasn't following you. I can't leave the club building anymore. I can't even see the way. Oh, no. Isn't it? Or, or no. Is it that I don't know the way? What's going on here? Is this a dream? Seems pretty bad, it does. Okay. Oh, oh, shit, I saw something. I saw something under the stairs. Gotta go look. Alluring crown N. Huh. I mean, all these different places are nice, and if they give me more, um, uh experience then you know or spirit or whatever you want to call it then you know the more the merrier i uh, cannot go here yet okay that must be where the uh the next like you know the the, the final part of the map is okay okay hello i would like a soda no no soda for me then okay i got the more spirit She is following me, and I am not okay with this. <laughs> I'm by your side. I would like to leave now. Over you. I have a stalker. This is not okay. I am not okay with this. The king does not need a stalker. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm by your side, watching over you. <laughs> me with glee every time you look at me I'm gonna have to lock her in a room aren't I what's your type uh, s sorry I just didn't expect you to ask me that out of the blue hmm my type is someone who'd walk through hell with me and stay by my side no matter how hopeless things get well that is not me I am definitely not that because I mean like I don't even know you, lady! Someone who could love me from the depths of their soul forever and ever. I would be the only person in their heart. I am sorry to inform you, but, um, as your king, I have to love all of my subjects equally. Even the queen, which I don't have one yet. But if I did, I could not put the queen above my other subjects. So I'm sorry. We're just incompatible. All I want is someone who loves me the way I am. Oh. For better or for worse, nothing else matters. Okay, that last one's fine. Appearance, fitness, intelligence, even our hobbies are trivial. As long as they love me, I will love them heart and soul. Okay. <laughs> 
It's as simple as can be. Uh. I'm really not asking for that much. You are asking for everything. Still, I'm having a hard time finding someone. Everyone's all talk. They're just either looking for approval or an easy lay. That is definitely teenagers for you. Sleaze bags, every one of them. All they care about is their own satisfaction, whether emotional or physical. Real love is about selflessness, you know? I think you're different from them, though. I am not. I may not be looking for an easy lay, but I mean, like, I don't think love is about selflessness. I mean, if I'm being honest, love is a two-way street. Like, you know, you have to take the good with the bad, and love is selfish. You, when you love someone, you love them for who they are, and you want to, and you, like, want to be with them. That, in a way, is selfish. It's not selfless. But if you find someone who also wants to be with you, and is selfish, like you, and you, you know, I mean, like, I'm not doing a very good job of describing this, because, you know, I are bad at, you know, the romance, but still... The point is, I am not for you, Miss Stalker Lady. I know you love me for real. That is not true. One day, we're going to be together forever. Oh, God. Look forward to it. I know I will. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not a needy person, okay? Yes, you are. You're perfect. Just the way you are. Oh, that's creepy. Not a needy person, huh? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> but you'll love me someday. It's fine. I'll wait as long as it takes. Until the day you love me. You should quit while you're ahead. How? Quit while I'm ahead? I am so far behind! I am in trouble here! How is she everywhere? The door is locked. Okay, um, shit. Uh, d okay, there's this down here that I haven't been to yet. <laughs> Jesus! By your side. Watching Conference room key. Oh, thank God. Okay, that was, that was easy. Oh my God. 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 I, I understand how that girl felt. Oh no. Hold on a moment. Okay. If you answer the call from here, she might get dragged into the other world with us. God damn it! Can't you get her to leave somehow? She seems infatuated with you. I doubt she'll listen to anyone else. <laughs> What is it? Could you leave? I can't do that. I said I was going to be by your side forever. Yes. Forever. Until death do us part. That didn't work. <laughs> I could never love you. Oh, you don't mean that. I do! Feelings can change. You'll love me someday. Don't you remember? I was crying because I thought no one would love me. But then you said things would turn out all right. That did not mean that I would love you. So don't worry. We'll work it out eventually. I hate everything about this situation. After all, you wouldn't lie to me. Would you? Absolutely. I love you. Huh? I'm happy to hear that, but this is all so sudden. You're not... Messing with me, are you? Not in a million years, no! Right? Then let me test you. You should know these things about me. If your love is true. Oh, shit. First question. What do I like? Box cutters. Wrong. Not even close. There's no way you love me. It's fine, though. You'll love me someday. So you know what we're gonna do now? We're gonna brute force this. <laughs> huh? Wrong. Okay. 
We'll, we'll, we're gonna get this eventually. Snow White? Wrong. <laughs> Rapunzel. Yeah! That's right! Rapunzel is my favorite fairy tale! It's a story of how amazing it is to be loved. Time for the next question. What do I hate? The Little Mermaid. Yeah! Oh! I guess because the Little Mermaid in act in the actual fairy tale does not have a happy ending. I hate the Little Mermaid. It makes me want to puke. Last question. What's my type? Someone who will walk through hell with you. I remember that one. Yeah. I want someone who loves me so much to walk through hell with me. That's the love I want. Thanks for answering all my questions. You definitely know a lot about me. So, I believe you. I believe that you love me. It is a lie! <laughs> and I love you too. I love you. And I love that you love me. Okay. I'll be right outside waiting for you. You're okay with that? Yeah, of course. I have nothing to worry about. You love me, after all. <laughs> I know I asked you to deal with her, but I didn't think you'd do it like that. I didn't want to do it like that! You really are a demon. A philandering one. This is not my idea! I did not want to do this! Keep playing with fire, and one of these days, you're bound to get burned. Listen, dude! I did not want to do that! I just didn't want her to die. I mean, if I'm being honest, when you said, hey, when she said till death to us part, I'm like, great, come into the other world with us, and then you'll die, and I won't have to worry about it anymore. I am a selfish person. Hopefully she won't remember her time as an unsettled when she's no longer under the influence of the mist. I hope so. Anyway, shall we? We shall. Let's do it! Oh my god, that was so mentally exhausting. Akane? What is it, Shinya? Are you that surprised to see me? A little bit, yeah. No, but I guess they don't necessarily have to show up at the last one. That's true. My monarch told me that my ideals were being destroyed, so I came. And look who I found. Not just Shinya, but the vice president, too. Hello. You two are just awful. Yeah, kind of. Can I ask you a question? Go for it. What's your angle here? You're hurting people. Killing them even. Is this revenge against Haruka? My angle? Well... I don't want to be hated by the person I love any more than I already am. I want to be loved. For our hearts to be one. I think that she's not talking about Haruka. I think she may be talking about her sister. I want our wishes to be fulfilled. For us both to find what it is we're looking for. In other words, my angle is love. Love is terrifying. It is. I want to find happiness for both of us. No matter what, I want to be loved again, even if it costs me my life. Not that it will. Ah, uh, I mean, actually, yeah, technically, no, it won't. This isn't the way to get someone to love you. Especially not for a scumbag like him. I'd say that all pact bearers are like this, 
But you're just messed up in your own right. It doesn't make any sense, but as long as you get what you want, right? It's okay that you don't understand. You don't need to. You're not the one with these feelings. That's true. I don't have to get it. After all, your business isn't any of mine. So let's just end this. Time for you to give up on your wish. Aww. You really are adorable. I can't let things end here, though. I'll show you the true nature of my love. The cold, icy suffering that froze my heart. I'll pass. I've got enough to worry about. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, that was funny. All right. Winning in four uh, rounds, huh? Definitely possible. All right, let's go, everybody. Let's go, Shinya. I can't let them down. Get ready. There she is over there. Okay. I'm not sure what that does, but I have a feeling it may not be good. Just give up. Face judgment. It's all mine. Here you are. Leave it to me. I won't back down. I'll break you. I do think that's cool. I will break you. Oh, I can't get that one. Damn. After you. Leave it to me. I shall. And the tech. Ugh. Am I bleeding? I think I'm bleeding. No use. I love the bolt like stuck in my arm no. and yet nothing happened. Here I go. Yeah, I am bleeding. This is this is not good. This is this is the bad. Just give up. It's all mine. Here I come. Aha! I stole their stuff. I'll break you. I'm stuck to freeze everything over. Oh, wow! I'll take care of you. Get ready. You've got this. Um, I don't see her her packed creature. So again, like Leave it to me. it's uh, uh, again like I think this means that like of course this is the final battle with her. An easy win. I'll break you. That was pretty easy actually. After you. There we go. Understood. Well, that didn't work. Now I'm oh, that's bad! I am charmed! Do I have an anti-charm? Yes, I do! Oh, thank God! How's this? What level is she at? Only 10? Okay, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm about to ruin your day, Akane. Sorry! Your soul. Sorry, not sorry. It's over. This is the nature of my life. Oh no! I'm that did not you. take her down. That is definitely not good. After 
after you. Understood. How much health does she have left? Only three. Okay. Check. Not yet. How is that, Shinya? We both have a long way to go. Yay! I do it. Hooray! I got more lust. Uh, not that I'm surprised. I was fighting lust demons, so. I'm sorry. I can't. a power that symbolizes my love the dream i long for that burns in my heart i just realized like the shape that they technically make with their bodies is a heart like two halves of a heart interesting i want a power that symbolizes my love the frigid cold that has warped my mind a power to turn my silly dream and everything else into ash. A fire to match the suffering in my soul. A power to freeze my melted love. And everything else into ice. A fire to match the suffering in my soul. Give. Take. You. You. Free yourself from grief. Be bound by joy eternal. I want a power that symbolizes the temperature of my heart. To erase the stains of the dream I lost. To return to the days we spent together. Yeah, I definitely think the person she loves is her sister now. So her authority could manipulate temperatures. That explains where her ice powers came from. <laughs> the ice powers that didn't get used against me. Come on, let's grab her and head back. There's nothing wrong with her physically, but she won't regain consciousness. Akane is in the same condition as Karama. I think it's safe to say this is because of her ideals being shattered. But you guys only destroyed two, right? Yep. Did someone else destroy the third one? Or maybe she only had two to begin with? No, there's a third. The mist and block D of the club building still hasn't cleared up. That must mean that one ideal is still around somewhere. But what about Akane? Karama only collapsed after we destroyed all three ideals. This situation is all sorts of strange. It is. But at the same time, I think it's because, um... Again, like, I think that the, the issue is because... It's both of them. It's both Akane and Sumire. Sumi I think they were doing it for each other because maybe, and this is a this is a guess, maybe they have an incestuous love for each other, and they had a falling out. I don't know. But for now, we should investigate Block D and destroy that final ideal. The mist won't go away otherwise. Yep. Akane and Haruka started dating. Er, well, ever since they broke up, Akane's made a total 180. Hmm. She always called him her knight in shining armor back when they were together. Maybe that's why being dumped shocked her so much. Falling in love is a scary thing. Loving somebody changes the way you think of them. It makes you vulnerable. The more you let them in, the more losing them hurts. Uh, hey, make sure you come back safe and sound, okay? Okay, just for you, Chio. 
The girl who may or may not be my sister. I know I keep saying that, but we have no proof. I wonder why Akane went and killed Haruka's friends to begin with. If she wanted to repair their relationship, she sure chose the wrong way to do it. Yeah. Does this happen to every person who falls too hard for someone? I can't help but wonder. By the way, I heard from Nozomi and Chio that you formed a pact with Vanitas to protect them. And here I thought all pact bearers were selfish and inconsiderate. I mean, I am. I did, I did form the pact to protect them, but that's literally because I am a selfish person who wants to protect what I care about. That's, it, it is a form of selfishness. As a king, I cannot allow my subjects to be harmed. Therefore, I must take to the battlefield myself and wield my power, and all shall bow before me! No, you're right, I am a horrible person. Not you, though. No, no, I definitely am. You're a little... No. You're completely different. I disagree. Sorry for being so hard on you all this time. Nah, it's cool. You might be a pact bearer, but you're a good person. I mean, let's not, um... Yeah, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you believe that because I don't know whether I'm a good person or not. I am just a person. Better than I am, at least. I disagree with that. I think you're a much better person than I am. Anyway, I think that'll about do it for this episode. So, thank you everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you being here with me. Yeah. Oh boy, we dealt with a stalker this time. That was freaky. Um. It's been a while since I've leveled up, so let's see here. Can I level up? Do I have enough? Yeah, I don't have to level up a little bit, but not all that much. Yeah. I think probably what I'll end up doing is... Let me check to see if there's anything good here. There we go. I I believe I've got everyone outfitted for what I need. Ah, the conference room key. Hooray! Alright, so I got Shinya up a little higher, and I got the main character up a little higher, too. I really need to uh, do some leveling in the interim. So I can uh, be more uh, prepared for who, I mean, like, at this point, it's got to be Sumire. It's got to be, like, the last person. Like, you know, like, well, like, you know, like, the, the person who, like, like, is, I don't know if she's truly at fault or just a part of it or whatnot. But, yeah, Sumire is definitely a huge part of this. So, thank you, everybody, once again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this as much as I have because, oh, my God. I'm, I'm really enjoying this. It's, the story isn't the most complex, but like, I'm just kind of having fun, just weird as it is to say, like role playing, just as this like, you know, amnesiac character who is the king. It's just kind of fun to play that role. So I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. So thanks again. And as always, be sure to like, Comment, subscribe if you are not already, ring that bell for all the notifications is, and until next time, have yourselves a beautiful day, my beautiful, beautiful viewers.